Now, this week is known as the National Lead Poisoning Prevention Week, a week which aims to raise awareness about the danger of lead exposure. Awareness about the danger of lead exposure and uh, poisoning uh, and the education of people uh, on how to reduce lead exposure in their homes, in their homes, how to prevent serious health uh, effects and uh, to learn about the importance of testing children for lead are uh, carried out globally and more purposefully. Uh, during uh, the 20, uh, from the 20th to the 26th of October. In Africa, Kenya, South Africa, Algeria, Ethiopia, Cameroon and Tanzania have all passed laws against uh, lead poisoning. Ruth. The World Health Organization is sounding the alarm on the threat of lead exposure to health as well as the future of children. Now, Charles Ndika Akong, technical director at the World Health Organization, joins us from Gabon. Good morning, thank you for joining us on the program. So today, lead poisoning is a real issue to be taken seriously, and your organization confirms that it's caused more than one million deaths in 2017. Can you tell us more? Lead poisoning is an adverse health effect from the exposure to lead. Lead is a very toxic heavy metal that is usually added to many products, including paint, to make it shiny, durable, and colorful. The paint is uh, used in um, several settings. I mean, the paint, I mean, mostly um, oil paint, color paint, I mean, oil paint that we, that we use at clean homes, school offices, and play and playgrounds. Lead poisoning is uh, quite a very uh, big issue, big health issue, and affects, I mean, children in um, particular, and has a and uh, manifest a quite a very wide range of symptoms. I mean, lead, lead exposure has risen very, has, has risen faster in Africa over the last decade than in any other region, and uh, almost 40,000 deaths each year. Um, the health impacts last a lifetime, and uh, this, this impact uh, may have a, a high cost on the families, communities, and um, economy in terms of lost productivity. In fact, that poisoning cost the continent almost, I mean, in economic terms, around $135 billion every year in terms of loss output. And that's quite a lot of money there. Um, but what countries suffer the most from lead poisoning? Tell us, what countries are most affected? Yes, I mean, I think before I hear which countries suffer the most, I, perhaps I explain some of the specific symptoms uh, from lead in the sense that um, uh, some of the symptoms, I mean, symptoms from urban uh, exposure of lead poisoning will lead to, I mean, include, I mean, irreversible injuries like issues like loss of cognition, um, attention deficit, right? um, attention deficit children, and even hypertension. So let's um, account for out of um, uh, the 10 unexplained developmental intellectual disability, and it also contribute to issues like heart diseases as well as chronic kidney disease. In terms of countries that are affected, um, uh, quite, I mean, most, most countries in the region are affected with the issue of lead exposure from um, um, the use of paint, paint uh, that contain lead. And so um, 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 only six countries in Africa have been able to put regulation to ban lead using paint. So from that, I can tell you in terms of the amount of countries that are I mean, exposed to this I mean, to, I mean, um, pain products that contain I mean, toxic I mean, lead. Lead levels are the, uh, that are very harmful to I mean, human health. So what is being done by African governments to solve this problem? Um, African governments have uh, been able to take some effort collectively to address the issues of lead exposure, particularly in, in products like, like petrol, where um, um, there's been a continental wide ban on the addition of lead as an anti knocking agent in petrol products. But that same commitment has not been passed on to other, I mean, to news, uh, to other sources of exposure like paint. Um, African countries collectively um, uh, agreed with the rest of the International Committee in 2002 to ban the addition of lead in paint by 2020. 
So we are just, I mean, we are at the home stretch of 2020. Only six countries in the region have been able to put in place regulations banning uh, lead use in pain. So this shows that there's, there's a very strong need for awareness at the level of countries. The World Health Organization has been supporting countries to be able to take uh, preventive action to address these issues. And uh, especially on the, I mean, in the light of putting in place regulations. Well, thank you, Mr. Ndika, for joining us on the program. That was Charles Ndika Akong, Technical Director at the World Health Organization.